Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question Please explain the testing principle Exhaustive testing as impossible. Let's begin. Exhaustive testing is impossible is the second principle defined in the ISTQB, and the explanation of it is very similar to the first principle, with small differences. Let's start with the definition. We provide the ISTQB definition and our explanation of it. You can pause the video and read it on your own. If you don't know what is ISTQB, the link to its website will be provided in the materials for the lecture. Let's check if you got the point of the principle based on these theoretical words. Let's say you need to test not the website but a feature where you can enter a date of birth and the system validates if you can access the website. Please pause the video and think about how many test cases do you need to run to test this feature. And we will provide a couple of answer options. We hope those who wanted to pause the video did it. So the answer is about 45,000 test cases. It may sound stupid, but if you use the exhaustive testing approach, you need to check all possible input combinations. That way you have 45,000 values of potential input. It is a very simple and small feature. And even for this, you have a huge number of test cases. Let's assume a manager asks you the question, how much time do you need to test the feature? So you think out loud, count all the variables and everything that can impact the testing. And then provide the estimate testing will take an entire month. Obviously, the manager won't be happy. We know it's a primitive example. Let's check more complex one. You have an entire website with five pages, the online shop where you have hundreds of categories of products, and all those products have different characteristics, like colors, quantities, and sizes. How much time it will take to test this kind of website? The answer is infinite or close to infinite, so the question to be answered, what we can do about it? Earlier in previous videos, we provided the list of differences between the testers who know and take advantage of the testing principles and testers who don't know or ignore the testing principles. And in that list, you can find the answer. Testers should use risk analysis, test techniques and priorities to find as many defects as possible in a limited amount of time. You can pause the video and read the full list if it's new to you. In our case, we can use experience-based exploratory testing and the equivalence partitionings and boundary value analysis. If you don't know these techniques, you can check our videos about them. As a result, instead of 45,000 of test cases, you will run 20-30 in total. Even if the feature seems simple, most likely testing will take a couple of hours. For example, don't forget to test on different devices with different screen resolutions. And the happy ending. You provide a realistic estimate to the manager and can have a coffee break once the tough work is done. And that's all on our site. You can pause the video and check the explanation of the test principles one more time. Or pause the video and check the benefits of knowing the exhaustive testing is impossible principle. Long story short, we are very limited in time and we can't test everything that is possible. So we need to select a subset of the most important and the most efficient test cases to test as much as possible in a limited amount of time. And the size of that subset is context dependent, which is another testing principle. And we will discuss it in a separate video. So hope to see you there. So that's our answer to the question. Please explain the testing principle. Exhaustive testing is impossible.